Why are you making me help you review a DI box? Because it's a good DI. This is a radial JDI. It's made in Canada. A um, couple of things distinguish this. First up, internally, Jensen Transformer. Well, it's passive, so there's no battery and there's no kabang when you unplug it. Well, there's, the there's no kabang when you unplug the mic lead. Any DI is going to go kabang when you unplug the input or output. Sorry, yes. the input side of it. But if it's active and if it's phantomed, which this is not. Yeah, this is not going to give you the problem. Mm. Um, phase reverse, there's also this speaker pad function so you can connect it in line with your speaker. That only works when the 15 dB pad's also engaged. Well, so that's, that's not a very good idea. That's a trap. But, no, um, there's a lot of buttons, which is yeah. bad for musos. Yeah, but look, the, on the upside, the buttons are recessed, so they're not going to get broken so, off. Third why, iteration. Why do people make active if passive is, this is passive, why make active? Well, I guess there's, there's arguments in favour of each. You know? What are those arguments specifically, well, James? Well, you know, if you've got an active head end, notionally that, that can give you better results in some situations. Look, I'm You get a, more gain out of an active right? You can get more gain out of an active DI. I'm, I'm a big fan of passive DIs. I am too, because you don't have to put a battery in and you don't need phantom. Yeah, and also the um, nice thing about this is really high input impedance means that for, for the musos who have the problem with, oh, I can't have that DI connected in line, it affects the, the way my signal goes into the amp. And this is typically double bass players. I don't know why, it's always oh. the double bass. But this isn't going to give you those kind of problems. Good.